Hi everyone, Michael Davids from Buffont Delacroix Hair and Makeup. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really handy little tool for your hair. It's something that we use all the time in hairdressing and you'll also see us use in our tutorials. It is hair padding or as known in the industry it's called a hair rat. Horrible name, but very useful. So what we're going to need, we're going to need some old hair extensions. Um, it is 2014. I apologise to people in the future, like 2016, 17, 18, watching back at this video, but right now it's 2014. You should be able to get your hands on some cheap old hair extensions, whether it be your own old hair extensions or a friend's old hair extensions. But if you can't get hold of that, go to your local dollar shop or two dollar shop. You'll be able to buy a synthetic ponytail for next to nothing, and everyone has them. Okay, so some of this. Next, we're also going to need a hairnet. You can buy this from your local hairdressing supply store. They're also really, really, really cheap, or you can buy them from your $2 or dollar shop as well. Um, we're going to need a blow dryer, and we're going to need a can of hairspray. And you're going to need something to attach your hair extensions to. I've actually got Dolly here, she's bald today. Um, however, if you don't have one of these at home, what you can use is a coat hanger with the little trouser clippy pegs on them. They are perfect because you can hang it up, clip the hair extensions onto them, and then you can use that as a support thing. You might have to dance around it a bit, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Okay, let's get started. Grab your hair extension wefts and attach them to your support. Make sure you pin a few pins onto them or put a few clips onto them so they don't move. Grab a small section of the hair and using your teasing brush, tease it into a matted mess within an inch of its life. Make sure you really make a mess of it because the more teasing and the more knots, the better your hair rat is going to hold. This is what it should look like. Unpin your hair piece from Dolly. Fold the weft end of it over and then seal with a bobby pin. Bunch up the whole tumbleweed with your hands and then spray it with lots and lots of hairspray until it's nearly soaking wet. Gather it up in your hands, grab a blow dryer, turn it onto hot and set the hairspray into the hair bun. Now to finish it off, all you have to do is stretch out the hairnet, drop the matted mess of hair in and tie it off at the top. There you go, there is our hair padding or hair rat. It looks like a really crude process, but they work. Now, um, we put the hairnet over the top, obviously, to keep all the little bits and pieces of hair in so they don't go poking out through your hairstyle. Um, you'll see how to use these in a lot of our tutorials, but just really quickly, you grab your client's head and then, let's say just for a little quip or some volume at the top, section some out like this, tease it back, Your little rat can sit there, and then we pin her in. We pin her in, flip the hair back like that. Now this is not supposed to look glamorous or like any sort of hairstyle, it's just giving you an idea of what they're used for. Okay, and so you comb your hair over the top and you get, um, you get volume through there, okay? This looks shit house. okay? I know this, but I'm just showing you what they do. You'll be able to see some really beautiful and pretty hairstyles um, in some of our other tutorials um, that actually show you what we use with this. Now, don't forget to subscribe um, to our channel. Um, there should be a little button on the screen somewhere that you can do that. And also look below in all of our information. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Michael Davids from Buffont Delacroix Hair and Makeup, and thanks for watching. Thank you.